What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Gigantic Quest. We're on episode... Is this four? This is episode four, yeah, because James is episode three. Today, uh, we have... <laughs> We got an ordeal ahead of us, so let's just jump right into it. We're using GMAX Butterfree. It's not going to be a good time, but I think we built something kind of special. And of course, we have a guest every episode. This time, our guest is Neil VGC, much like the rest of our guests. He is a better VGC player than me. Uh, but yeah, Neil, go ahead and introduce yourself. Just talk about you know what you do on YouTube, Twitch, and just who you are. Hi, I'm Neil VGC. I do a bunch of high-level content on YouTube and really enjoy playing this game at a high level. Also like trying out a bunch of cool things, like we're trying out Butterfree today. We made a pretty fun team, I, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. But yeah, I mean, Butterfree is like such a... It, it's, it's a weird Pokemon to build around if, if the goal is what we're doing, which is wanting to use the Gigantamax form, because obviously like Butterfree, it, it wants to be support. The only times it's seen success, which I can count two times. Uh, one was Max D's using it on Hyper Offense with Rage Powder, Sleep Powder stuff. And one was, I think, A-Drive at the first VGC Regional in 2020 using it for Rage Powder, Sleep Powder stuff. So, um, and beyond that, I can't think of a single other time Butterfree's even like cracked like top 64 at a tournament. Can you think of one? Uh, I think some people use Butterfree with like Regirock and like Trick Room stuff really early on in the format. I think I won a regional too, I'm not sure. But some dude went undefeated in a regional at Trick Room plus Redirect. Yeah, I mean, Butterfree is one of the most annoying Redirect Pokemon because it's like a 50 50 on. Like, obviously, like you can tell by the conditions of the lead and stuff, like what it wants to do, but like that little mind game of are they going to Rage Powder do something else or are they just going to Sleep Powder me with their. I think it's nearly 100% accurate sleep powder. I forget what the actual yeah, number like is. Yeah, it's like 97, super high. With their pretty much spore. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's a little bit annoying, but we're going to be leaning into the offensive side of things. So let's just go ahead and jump right into the team. Uh, so the first thing we did is we have our GMAX Butterfree. It's Focus Sash, Compound Eyes. No need to get in particulars when it comes to EVs of this thing. It wants to be fast for sleep powder. It wants to have max special attacks, so that way it's uh, max flutter by or max Befuddle and max Airstream would be dealing massive damage. Uh, well, I guess about as massive as a 90 base special attack can be, but Befuddle's pretty cool. You're guaranteed one status effect uh, every time you use it, as long as it's not, as long as you don't roll the bad one. So like if you roll Paralysis on an Electric type, it won't get it. If you roll Poison, the Steel type, it won't get it. That sort of thing. But we're running Palm Puff, Hurricane, Sleep Powder, Tailwind with Focus Sash, Compound Eyes, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Timid Nature. So yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to try to Gigantamax it as always. The rule for this series is three battles. Um, if it doesn't Gigantamax within those three battles, fourth battle, we have to do it. So yeah, next up's the Zacian, if you want to cover that spread. Yeah, so I wanted to run Jolly Zacian here because the team's pretty aggressive. I EV'd it to live an Adamant Max Attack Behemoth Blade because some people on ladder try to run that. And I just want to be really fast because we have a Helping Hand user and Helping Hand plus Behemoth Blade picks up other Zacian and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, just very basic, you know, standardish Zacian. Uh, of course, if we're running Hyper Offense on this team, which I think we've already established with the fact that I think I said it already, but uh, we're using Choice Scarf Kyogre. We got Drizzle, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Thunder, Timid, Max Speed, Max Special Attack. This is going to be one of the easier teams to recreate on your game if you want to do it, because most of our stuff is just Max Max. Uh, but yeah, and I, I think the next one up was um, a little bit of a, a smarter call as far as what we're trying to do with Hyper Offense, if you want to talk about the pick, Neil. Yeah, so we ended up choosing Sarina because we want to avoid our Butterfree from getting faked out because it doesn't have Protect, and also we want to prevent Grassy Glide. Other cool thing about Sarina is that it pairs really well with Zacian and Kyogre. You can Helping Hand plus Water Spout or Helping Hand plus Behemoth Blade. And then uh, we opted for Power Whip over Chop Kick because Power Whip picks up the KO on opposing Kyogre. And then Triple Axel is a nice move to hit opposing Landorus. Also in, in a few niche scenarios, you can actually just max that thing. And then having Protect is really good because people don't expect Protect on this mod. Yeah, like usually you see Assault Vest and you... I, I feel like the way that you tell is like if they Helping Hand, they have Protect because <laughs> they because they don't have Assault Vest. And if, you know, they, if they're running U-Turn, they're definitely Assault Vest. Like, that's a way to tell without it directly having to be attacked or targeted. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I really like Zarina. I think it's like with a Pokemon that I enjoy using, but I like never actually use. It, it's one of those, right? Like, it's good and I like to use it, but I never do. Uh, yeah. 
Next it's that up. kind of mon where you'd rather be using Kartana. Yeah, it's it's hard to find the team for it, but if there's a team that needs it, it's probably Scarf Ogre, Butterfree stuff. Exactly. Uh, next Pokemon is Regieleki. Uh, we're just running a Life Orb, Max Speed, Jolly, 228 Attack, 28 HP. This just allows the Regieleki to like take a Behemoth Blade from Zacian as well as have a little bit of general bulk rather than... It, I, I, yeah, we could like we could invest directly into defense, but I think with this sort of thing, as long as you're still picking up the same KOs, which you are, you're Regieleki, uh, you might as well just go HP. Uh, but we have Electroweb, Wild Charge, Bounce, Assurance, uh, Life Orb set. It just does Regieleki things. It's it's gonna be our speed control at times. Um, it's gonna be our Dynamax mod at times. And not that Regieleki really cares about fake out of its Dynamaxing, but in the situations where it doesn't Dynamax, that Zarina is gonna be really nice for guaranteeing things like Electroweb. So that's pretty cool. And yeah. go ahead and explain our last Pokemon, which is just the definition of hyper offense in this game. Yeah, so our original idea was to use Incineroar, but then since the team was aggressive, Moxie was like, let's just use Choice Band or Shifu. It just does a lot of damage. Uh, we opted for Rock Tomb because that speed control is kind of nice and also to hit Charizard. And uh, you're not really clicking U-Turn with our Shifu, you just want to click Wicked Blow Close Combat. And the K and the scenarios are where you aren't clicking those, you're probably just clicking something like Rock Tomb. It's pretty cool because you can force some cool positions by going for like Rock Tomb, sacking something, and then getting into Kyogre. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty basic. It's pretty basic. Also, apologies if you've been hearing um, audio from the game in the background. I'm recording Neil in the game's audio on the same channel, uh, and it just dawned on me that I didn't silence the, the game audio. But it's fine, because we're about to hop over to the rental code anyways. All right, so on screen here, obviously, we got the team for you ready to use if you guys want to check it out. Of course, all the rental teams um, are in the spreadsheet or not spreadsheet, what is it called? The Google Sheet uh, that's linked in the description down below. We have every team we've used so far, and the goal is to just have like a nice collection of one team for each Gigantamax Pokemon that's going to be available for you guys until the end of the format. And I do have to note something. Um, someone pointed out to me, hey, if you're releasing two episodes a week and the format ends at the end of August, how are you going to finish Gigantamax if they ban Dynamax? Um, to which I have to say... Uh, Gigantic Quest will end early in that case because there's not really a way to continue it. Um, however, the upside to that is Dynamax got turned off, so we won anyways. <laughs> that's that's just my thoughts on that. So regardless <laughs> of what happens, it's it's a net win, you know. <laughs> hey, that's that's a good way to think about it. Yeah. Anyways, let's grab some games. Neil, I got good news for you. Obviously, I'm telling this to you again, just for the viewers. But um, in my most recent live stream, I tried to use Runarigus, and it was really, really, really bad. So we dropped down to like rank 4,000 something, which is nice because we're using Butterfree, so it'll make it easier. <laughs> yeah, I like kind of tuned into your stream. I like had it open on the side. Hey, thank you for supporting. You want to know something funny? Uh, I do. For, for like the pat... <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you look disgusted. <laughs> yeah. So, so for the past um, two months, pretty much every time I stream, I've been the number one Sword and Shield category streamer, and I still don't have my Twitch partnership, despite applying for it many, many months it's ago. Been three months, right? It's been over three months. This is getting yeah. painful. Yeah. I saw your tweet. I was just like, no. It's literally just, it's so bad. Anyways, let's let's grab games. That's besides the point. I, I, if anyone wants to send like an angry email to Twitch and explain to them that I applied months ago and that um, I made an error on my thing that made it look like I was from Afghanistan because it autofilled instead of putting America, it put Afghanistan and then I submitted it. And because the turnaround time for partner applications depends on uh, your region and I doubt they have very many people in Afghanistan ready to look at Twitch partner applications. Um, just, just let them know that they should at least have a way to uh, let them know that that happened. I'm not angry. You're angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This actually isn't a bad Butterfree game. I think the only thing it like seriously hates is like Thunderous and maybe like Max Rockfall from yeah. not Max Rockfall, but like um, wait, well, obviously Max Rockfall from Groudon, but like I'm thinking Meteor Beam when I said that. Uh, yeah, I guess Station plus Butterfree is kind of all right. Yeah, I almost want to go Aleki Butterfree, but that makes the Groudon lead super bad. Yeah, because um, if their Groudon lead's bad, at least we can, uh, like, Behemoth Blade of Thundee and, like, bring an Ogre. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's let's do that. Because at the very least, we have defensive switch-ins. And even if 
they decide to like e even if we have like a bad lead it's still sash butter for you it's not like we can't just sleep powder or yeah. something uh, this is just a kyogre or shifu right i'm thinking that i'm, I'm yeah. leaning a little bit towards zarina or regioleki but i think our shifu is just the most consistent for the sake of the fact that they have lunala <laughs> Yeah, and they have screens, which so we can like break through the Venusaur. We can also sucker punch if they get a bunch of boosts. Yeah, I honestly, I'd be so happy if they just let off with like, I I don't know what lead would actually allow Butterfree to Gigantamax here. Probably like Venusaur or Grim Snarl, but I don't think they lead off that way. Yeah, we can probably just like Tailwind Behemoth Blade and then like max the Butterfree. Yeah. Watch it be fake out Grim Snarl. We just get nated immediately. Uh, but then we just get bodied. Yeah. I ran I ran fake out Grim Snarl for a really long time. It was so fun, honestly. <laughs> Dude, it is. I ran it on the Swampert team. It's literally just like the one. Okay, wait. This is a legitimate opportunity to Gigantamax this thing. Yes. Do you want to? Uh, all right, so here's the thing. If it does anything, like if, if the Venusaur Gigantamax is here, it's targeting the, the Zacian, right? But I kind of want to not max Airstream the, the Venusaur, but go for Behemoth Blade and max Befuddle into Lunala in case they decide to Trick Room on us. Yeah, that seems more consistent. Even Sleep Powder into Lunala is pretty nice. Yeah. You know what? I think, I think we just Sleep Powder here and we'll save the... Yeah. Let's Behemoth play the Venusaur though. Oh, oh yeah, actually, that's fine. A little late. <laughs> but yeah, I was honestly, thinking Yeah, sorry. Oh, it's all good. I, I, I mean, if they don't... If they don't, like, Gigantamax the Venusaur here... Even if they do, it's, like, not that bad, to be honest. Because, like... I don't know. I don't know. We, we sleep something. We sleep a Groudon, which is nice for our... For our end game. Yeah. I was thinking of Behemoth blading the Venusaur, because that's like one of the things I can actually take a water spell, but this is still fine too, because we're chunking the Groudon. Yeah, and if they one-shot us with like Weather Ball, it's, you know, regardless of what we targeted, we're fine. Yeah, because then we can just bring an Ogre Airstream play from there. Wait, are they? Right, powder. That's a hate crime, dude. <laughs> they just powder. Alright, um, what's the likelihood that they're not Sash? On the v on the Venusaur, because I almost want to go max Airstream onto the Venusaur, but we're probably just gonna get outsped anyways. Yeah. Do you just want to Tailwind and Behemoth Blade the Venusaur? Yeah, because it's not like we're like threatened by Groudon here, and if Venusaur Gigantamaxes, it's like, it's it's fine. Yeah. We also already burned a turn of sleep, so let's see if we get a turn one wake. Earth power? Right. Okay, we should tank that because it's earth power. Yeah, and now we have two chances to wake up because we're tailwinding. Yeah. Okay, so one more. I think here we, we actually Gigantamax the Butterfree and just go for the attack into the Venusaur, like the double. Yeah, because uh, getting the Airstream should be pretty good. Especially for the late game Ogre. Yeah. All right. Guys, Time we did walk. it. We don't have to play game three, or we don't have to play game four. <laughs> Dude, imagine it's like Incineroar plus like Zacian and you're like, I have to max the Butterfree. Oh my god, dude. That'd be insane. D wait, actually, okay, for a minute I thought like maybe Goggles would allow the Incineroar to ignore Befuddle, but it just bypasses it. I don't know why I thought it was a powder move. It's kind of cool that it ignores. Ooh? Ooh, wait. wait please wake up. Okay, that's Incineroar. I mean, Befuddle can actually do decent damage into it. Yeah, I should do like 40. If he, if he sleep powder is my, my Butterfree, I'd be a little upset. Me too. I think they definitely just Earth Power again. I think that they're too scared of, of Zacian and like they're definitely not concerned about the Butterfree. Yeah, like we just need to get one hit off onto Venusaur and then Water Spout just blows everything else up. Yeah, 100%. I think they Earth Powered again. That's That's my professional opinion. Yeah, but we get another chance to wake up because Tailwind is too good. Yeah. Alright, wake up. Oh! Yeah, let's go. Alright, please don't be Sash because this is actually... I mean, it, it lives anyways because we're at minus yeah. one. Or maybe it does, I don't know. For all we know, yeah. it's a really, let's really bad set. Slow. Let's hope it's slow. Come on, be modest. Alright, modest, please. Modest. Modest. Alright, nah. that's fine. That's fine because Kyogre... Oh, we, live. we live and Kyogre would come in even if like the roll KOs us. Yeah. Oh, it's Koba. I see, I see. 
Bill dies. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you, thank you, Venusaur user. Yeah, and now now it's like super free befuddle into Lunala coming in. Yeah. Dude, I, if we see Pokemons. Yeah, I almost wish our Zacian went down to be honest. Oh, so you're just getting Kyogre and then go for a Befuddle plus Water spell. Yeah. Dude, if we sleep to Lunala, we just auto win. Yeah, because then Kyogre just Water spells and we still have another Mon in the back. Nice. Dude, I love being rank 5000. <laughs> Do you, you get free battles? Sometimes, sometimes. What I like to do is like when I when I upload stream highlights, what I'll do is I'll just oh, they didn't even go into Lunala. That's like actually so bad. Yeah. Anyways, what I I, think we, we just Sacred Sword because they they yeah, haven't they can't total. wake up yet because they they already burned or they haven't burned a turn yet. But yeah, what I'll do is when I upload stream highlights, if I have like an actual decent rank, like if I'm like 400 or something, I like to just slip that in at the beginning of each match just so they're like, just so people know I'm not that bad at the game. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hey, just you know, I'm not yeah. terrible. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm literally fine. Like that's that's like mm -hmm. that's actually how I defend myself. Is like someone's like, Marcus, you're so bad at the game, and I go, I'm fine. <laughs> 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 Which is such a no. weak defense, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. I watched your executor video, dude. You played well, especially that first one. Hey, thank you. Anyway, Kyogre literally just comes in. Like they, the fact yeah. that they didn't go Lunala, there was like, oh, the process. Ooh. The fact hey, they didn't go in all there was a death honest. sentence. Yeah. All right. Kyogre comes in. We water spout over and over and over again. But I think we always go for the airstream into the into the grout on here in case it's like vest. Yeah, because uh, raw water spout actually doesn't pick up. Yeah. Is our airstream stronger than our befuddle? I actually don't know. Let me see. I think it's stronger because it's 140. It is yeah. okay. I want I wanted to double check because I actually don't know like if Befuddle has any kind of like properties that change the uh, the attack. Because you know how like you know how like Rillaboom and like yeah like they have guaranteed yeah. stuff. And also there are just weird situations like Rising Voltage Zapdos is always one forty despite the move being seventy. Yeah. Do you imagine Wildfire is one sixty? Oh, I would literally uninstall the game. I'd be like, we're done. <laughs> Listen, you keep trying to make Charizard a thing, and dang it, you've done it. Dude, Charizard would be too good, because the uh, only saving grace is that a 150 allows Porygon 2 to survive. Wait, really? That's like barely yeah. it? Oh my god. Okay. If that's Incineroar, we laugh. But it's it's definitely yeah, Groudon. Probably Groudon. It's definitely like Vest Groudon. Yeah, but like, even if they wake up, we're still fine. Because we have our Shifu that and, just picks up uh, Lunala. And we just sleep it again. Unless they like yeah. Rockfall us, we just sleep it again next turn. Yeah. And if they KO the Ogre, then uh, Butterfree just sleep powders. Oh, yep. spicy. Yeah, it looks like Butterfree is going to get another KO. Let's go. That's two did KOs for Butterfree in one game. I did not expect this to go so well. It's like counting uh, KOs for Draft League. Butterfree, two KOs out of four already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I always get invited to like these random Draft Leagues, and I always have to make it very clear, like... It's not that you invited me and I'm not interested in your draft league. It's that I hate draft. <laughs> Dude, it's actually like an annoying time commitment sometimes. It is. It's it's the time commitment. It's the amount of preparation you have to do for one specific match. And it's the fact that, in my opinion, if you're doing a VGC draft league, it doesn't help you get better at VGC because you're just hyper focusing on like one particular matchup. Yeah. All right. Like you play some weird, weird stuff in VGC draft if you're playing VGC draft. Yeah. Do you want to see the pollen puff KO? <laughs> do it, do it, do it. All right, because water spout's not gonna do it, and then we don't lose regardless. There's literally an Urshifu. Ah, I was gonna say there's literally an Urshifu in the back, so we might as well try. Yeah. It was literally just free sucker punch and like pollen puff eight times. Yeah. That was, that was a pretty good first game. I, I we literally oh, got everything we needed from that first game. Yeah. We can we can stop and pretend that Butterfree is the best player Animax <laughs> in the series. Dude, imagine. By the way, I just want to let you know, Neil. If we uh, granted we're on lower ladder right now, but um, it for anyone watching, I have to clarify this because some people misunderstood me when I said it to Joe. We're at like two thousand, and I said low ladder, low for the guest. All right, like. Some people like hang out at four thousand. That's fine, right? What I what I was gonna say is like, um, despite us being lower on the ladder, if you and I can win all three games, that means we went completely positive, 
which means we did better than Blastoise and Charizard. Bro, let's go. Come on, doing better than Ugarte? Yeah. That's a W. Okay, let's All get right. that done. Um, I think we need Ashen plus Arena. I like it. Yeah, you can just helping him Behemoth play Thunders, helping him Behemoth play their stuff, and like... Urshi yeah, kind of busted helped. this game, right? Yeah, Urshi cleans. Do we go Butterfree or Ogre? I mean, I feel like Ogre actually isn't that good here. Yeah, we go Butterfree. All right, that's free sleep. Yeah, let's go. Not bringing the Ogre, but bringing the Butterfree. We know which Mon's better. We're all, we've already broken the metagame it, it, it completely in half. Like, listen, Zarina, Butterfree, Max Airstream who? Don't care. Exactly. This team, this team's winning worlds. Actually, you want to know something? I'm going to make a bold prediction. I think Zarina might actually win worlds. It has to be some Japanese player making a good take on Tornogre. Not even. Like, it could fit on so many things just by virtue of blocking Thunder Wave from, like, Thundee and, um, like, Scary Face and stuff from, like, Grimmsnarl. I feel like that's, like, invaluable right now. And we yeah. just, like, don't take that in consideration when T-building. is just how much value you could put onto a Zarina for a team. Like, I get that, like, Kyogre's definitely going to be the partner, but I don't even think it has to be Tornogre. Yeah, I can just be like Sarina plus other stuff. Like, look at this. Like, normally we'd be like, oh, what if he Thunder Waves? Now we just helping hand Behemoth Blade and we take the Thundee. Yeah, do we want to take the... Uh, do we want to put uh, Dialga into range of other stuff, though? Nah, we're just going to sleep it. I want to take this Thundee. Okay, let's take the Thundee. Behemoth Blade? I'm Behemoth Blading because it might Dynamax, and that's like my main concern. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that we KOs. Have... Yeah. Thundee, oh, yeah, cool. dude. Dynamax. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Thundee, for having 70 defense. Exactly. Dude, helping him Behemoth Blade is actually such a good Thundee counter. Actually, like, Zacian is just a good Thundee counter, like, in general. Yeah, but it needs that plus one. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we're just taking Thundee. Yeah, we're probably losing Serena. Unless it's, like, a bulky Thundee with, like, Citrus Berry, we should take it here. Yeah. Granted, we could have played rough, but I was, but... was kind of scared. Yeah. Dude, imagine we had close combat. We were like adamant, almost max attack. Look at him. See, I told you. I oh, let's go. Listen, the value you get out of Zarina is absurd. Yeah. Anyways, if this doesn't KO, we forfeit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm like slightly unconfident on this on KOing, but yeah, because yeah. it's support. If it was offensive Thundee, like yeah, that would have yeah. KO'd. But yeah, if we were adamant max attack, close combat. Yeah, there's the hypothetical Citrus Berry I was talking about, though. Yeah. Um. I this is Quake. Okay. Alright, hear me out. We lose the Zacian here, right? But what's stopping us from going Butterfree, sleeping the Dialga, and triple axling the, um, the Thundee? Uh, nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. See, I like the way you think, Neil, even though you just agreed with what I said. I like the <laughs> way you think. <laughs> Alright. Listen, this Butterfree is going to carry the rest of this game. We're going to Dynamax this Butterfree. This is, it, unironically, we might have to Dynamax the Butterfree. It yeah, might not be optional here. <laughs> it's probably not optional. <laughs> All right. And we live a Thunderbolt, obviously, because of the Sash. But if we get full para, that could be very bad. Yeah. I also, think we it, it could be fast. Ooh. Oh, wait. Hold wait, on. We're faster. That is a... All right. That's like got to be like four speed Thundee. Yeah. T-Bolt... Don't full para, don't full para, don't full para, don't full para. Or not full para, but you know, just para. Yeah. That's actually pretty bad, though, for us. Alright, like, one. I don't know. Two. Oh god. Two. Okay, alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. It was actually better that we don't KO, because we can set up Tailwind. Yeah. And we could Dynamax we Arena, too. Tailwind. Yeah, but we kind of need Tailwind to get through this game. Mm -hmm. Dude, are we Dynamaxing Urshifu? I don't I even think, think we do. Not. Like, even... I don't think we ever Dynamax Urshifu, because CC is just too good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, still. I think we Tailwind here, and... I don't let's even know. See. Yeah, let's uh, let's go for a Power Whip into Zacian. We want to put it into a CC range. Yeah. If we get this Tailwind off, like, that's just... Bro, yeah. what? What are you doing? Oh. Are you trying to make let's some go. Galaxy... Are you... All right, that does not count as a play. That that does not count. It, what did you, you blocked a hypothetical sleep powder when you could have just KO'd it? <laughs> yeah. I think they expected us to be choice scarf, but like they probably didn't see the sash. Yeah, 
All right, I hope they their Dialga wakes up in the KO or Butterfree. Yeah, or Sarina, either or. All right, um, how do we go about getting our guy in? I think we just go for Hurricane into Ferrothorn regardless, and like I think we can protect here. Yeah, or we can even just swap the Sarina into uh... Urshi. Well, my concern is that they might go for like a Dragon move and then we just lose. Yeah, that's true. But also, actually, yeah, that's true. Let's just Hurricane. Yeah. But don't we kind of have to get into a good position to win this anyways? Yeah, but there's no way they don't take at least one of these Pokemon. Yeah, let's just uh, sack Serena then. Yeah, I'll, I'll well, actually triple Axe. We, could, we yeah. could double this, honestly. Yeah, let's double it. I'm hoping that it doesn't wake up and Feralthorn takes one of these Mons. Yeah. Ooh, that, that's a oh, crit, right? Okay, hold on, Butterfree. Nice. Hold it. Calm down. Calm down, Calm down Butterfree. One. Oh, wait. Why did we do that? <laughs> no, I think this is actually the right play, even with the Iron Barbs. Yeah. Because, like, you know, it's um, not like we get damage on anything else that's substantial. That was actually so weak. Okay. Oh, dude. Why do I actually want you to wake up here? Iron Defense. Okay. okay well, cool. we, we still just Hurricane. Yeah. Do we want to Airstream? I. <sighs> I think it's safer. I think we airstream and actually hard switch in the the, the dude now. Yeah. Because that guarantees we always outspeed everything. Yeah. Congratulations. If we lose this arena. Yeah. Congratulations. Two G Max Butterfree games in a row. <laughs> okay. Also, they might I be hope... hell bent on removing Butterfree. That could be a thing. Yeah. It's just that this thing's gonna wake up like guaranteed now. Yeah. I mean, we don't get killed by like flash cannon, which they very well might do. Hopefully they flash cannon. Dude, I think Steel Beam's the right move on this mod, though. There's no way they're running Steel Beam on this team. They got three Steel yeah. types, dude. Like, there's no way they're putting Steel Beam on their Dialga. Steel Beam's so cool, because you can you can actually just pick up max mods. Ooh, that two huge HP. 2 HP right there. Let's go. All right, go ahead. We don't care anymore. You're in range okay. of everything. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. Don't you dare wake up. It's already been three turns, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure that's that was like turn three. It okay. just slept. Flash cannon, flash cannon. Don't roar. Time. We got another crit. Crit. Uh-oh, come on. All right, maybe they can just target the Butterfree. Like, that's even better. If they target Butterfree, then we're pretty set. <gasps> yes. Wait, miss, miss, oh, miss. Let's miss go. Wait, wait. No, we're still, we're still don't fine. Freeze. We're still don't fine. Freeze. We're still fine, don't. dude. We, we lock close combat. We airstream. That's game. Hey, let's go, let's go. There's no way this Butterfree has actually been, like, Gigantamaxing and doing <laughs> stuff. I refuse to believe that this is a thing the Butterfree got to do. Dude, that, that Dialga's getting KO'd. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Like, this is the type of video where I get paranoid I stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've done that before. It's the worst. Like, literally... Uh, Alright, I don't know what you think you're switching into. That's not living. I mean, it's taking like 80. Because uh, I expect them to be a quick attack. Wait. There's no way they're quick attack. This is, I gotta say, I gotta tell you what I told Joe. We're, we're at like rank 4,000, dude. That's true. There's like a, there's like a bell curve. I think. It's like, I don't know what it's called, but like, it's like at either end of it, quick attack is, is to be expected. <laughs> but not here. Yeah, 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 if you run into like a rank 200 Dialga, that definitely has quick attack. Zashi, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's how I always feel about Burning Jealousy. If I see an Incineroar at rank like six, I'm like, that's Burning Jealousy, or it's like Will O Wisp or something. Yeah, or right. Protect. Guess guess who we outspeed and we get to have fun with? Yeah, we just befuddle and CC the Dialga. Yeah, I'm gonna befuddle because, because yeah. it's funny. Yeah. Because he can't KO both of our guys. And it's not like Dialga yeah. can protect. Yeah, and even if it has quick attack, I think Urshi lives. Uh, I don't know. We're at minus one. Oh, yeah, we did just CC. But also, there's no way it's quick attack. That's true. That's I true. have the Ooh. utmost confidence we're not facing quick attack Zacian. You just learn these things when you're mediocre, you know? Oh, no. Wait. They're not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wait, we're fine. They choked. They choked. Yeah. They didn't go after Urshi. Wait, wait, what? Sarina wins. Sarina wins. We're there's, gonna helping hit CC. There's no way. There's literally. <laughs> what?
I knew. <laughs> they choked and they choked and they choked. What, wait, what rank is this player? Because I refuse to believe that there's a player chilling out in like 3000s with quick attack. You either have to be rank 1 or rank one thousand or, or rank 10,000. Like, th there's no in between. It's okay, they're 30,000. Doesn't All right, even exist, yeah. though. We're fine. Can we helping hand for the sake of it? Yeah. Let's go. They're gonna quick attack again. Watch, they're gonna forget. Yeah. Dude, that, that would be so amazing. They are. They're at the point where they're desperate. They're gonna forget. Or just hope that we're, like, the wrong ability. The, the play is literally to hope we're the wrong ability. Like, unironically, like, that's what you do. Think about what it. If I, what if I got the wrong ability? Well, we, we know it's not because the first yeah. match. Ooh, All right. Helping hand and CC? Oh, they didn't even try. Um, Do, all right, but actually, go. viewers, in this situation, if you didn't see Queenly Majesty and you get outsped anyways, quick attack and just hope that they're the wrong ability. Or wait the full 30 seconds and see if they disconnect. Yeah, I sent English alt with Japanese mons. Uh, you know what? That does make sense now. Japanese player, quick attack. Exactly. If it's an English alt. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Team. Let's see their team. Okay. okay life yeah. Hold on. Yeah, this is like a nuance of like competitive Pokemon that's hard to explain. If they're a Japanese player, expect something weird. It's like a regional thing. Not weird, but like some tech. Also, I didn't think it'd be Urshifu Water for this team. Do Scarf or Shifu is cool. Screens Grim. Yeah. Hold. My my brother in Christ. Dynamax level your Grim Snarl. <laughs> <laughs> I get that you're probably not gonna do it, but you might. Yeah. The only time you uh, it's valid to Dynamax Grimmsnarl is if you're playing Zacian Ogre screens and you're going up against Palkia Kelly Ice. Yeah. You can just uh, Starfall to Palkia. Mm -hmm. And if you're running and foul play, might as well just fish. Might as well fish yeah. for Yon. <laughs> okay. Because I was playing Palkia Kelly Ice and this dude just kept farming me with Max Grim. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Uh. This looks like a team I would use. This looks like a quick attack Sashin team. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. have to lead Sarina. I, can we lead Sarina plus Sashin again? And with yeah. With like Coyote coming back this time. I like it. Just the just the elimination of speed control is so nice. And listen, we've already won. Do you want to go for the positive or do you want to go for the Butterfree? Let's do a Lucky. Okay, we're going for the positive. Sorry, no Butterfree this game. You're, you guys already got two good Butterfree games. Don't complain. Yeah. We you have want, to prioritize damaging the Dialga because our yeah. back doesn't damage it. We have to prioritize you do be, doing better than both James and Joe on the series. <laughs> Dude, that's a W. That's like an inherent W. Like, how? <laughs> it's a Butterfree. <laughs> dude, this right. is secretly the Butterfree from Bye Bye Butterfree. Oh, yeah. No, dude, this Butterfree went out got a girlfriend came home and he was like man that was great time to become the strongest butterfree on earth where's yeah, ash dude. oh ash left me guess i'm joining the moxie boosted channel exactly that's the where, moxie all, boosted where all unwanted pokemon go <laughs> <laughs> okay um it's gonna be rain dance thundy this is totally support yeah do we uh i think we double the the blastoise I don't know if we outspeed. Actually, we do outspeed. Yeah, let's just double it. Yeah. But it doesn't pick up. Do we Dynamax this arena? No. no. I think we... Okay, let me think through this one. We have to preserve this option for the Dialga. That's the issue. But we don't so want to go can... a Leki here either, though. Yeah, so what we can do is um, protect the Zacian and just power whip their Blastoise or even... Uh, yeah, I'll just power whip the Blastoise <sighs> I, and protect Zacian. I, I kind of want a Behemoth Blade because uh, Power Whip wouldn't KO after that anyways, you're right. Because yeah. the reason I was thinking is because like just denying the... Oh, okay, well that's fine. I was going to say denying the Cannonade entirely would be so good. Yeah. Oh, we're helping Handsaker sorting that immediately. Yep. Alright, they didn't Dynamax, which means they definitely support Rain Dance. Yeah. Let's see what they do. Hey, you did it. Why? Okay. We <laughs> need to hit this power whip, though. It's a really important chip. Yeah. And then Sacred Sword should should take care of it. Check it. Yeah. Let's go. That whole 10%, not even, but that should help a lot. Yeah. This all is right. a help on Sacred Sword all the way. They could Dynamax, which would suck, but we're probably fine. 
Oh, yeah. not being able to play the Sacred Sword. Yeah. We want to do that. So, like, I think it does, like, 70-80% to the max <laughs> Dialga. Like, Why yeah. are you doing this? This doesn't make sense. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. They, I bet you they thunderwaved here and forgot. This is they had yeah. to have forgotten. Yeah. Watch as this is life orb weather ball. Oh my god. Life <laughs> orb weather ball thundy. We're done. That whole Dude, man, that whole forty percent we're gonna take from it. Yeah. All right. Ooh, Chris. Uh, T bolt. He, oh, he might be yeah. fishing for para because he knows he can't thunderwave us. Yeah. Let's triple axel and behemoth. Yeah, because even though it might be a speed tie, it's like. Not like he, he actually no. With this team, it's probably not max speed. Yeah, it's bulky. Though uh, that sacred sword damage was a little extra. Okay, that's true. But it's not. I like was they thinking can... of helping him play rough. Yeah, it's not like they can do anything here. We're fine. He's he's gonna thunderbolt us, but unless he paras, we're fine. He's literally fishing for para. Exactly. There's no way he's getting it. Just nah, trust. Nah, nice. Okay. One. We're getting three. Two. We're gonna get one crit right here. You ready? Massive crit, let's uh, go. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, and it's Barry. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the next one definitely KOs, unless we only get one. But uh, I think here we actually protect the Zacian. Yeah. And just triple Axel. God, Zar this is what I'm saying. Zarina, like, the amount of value it's bringing to this particular game is just stupid. Dude, for real. Like, oh, and they just switch again. Yeah, and look at what... Cause, yeah, that's what I thought. Like, they're not going to let us take the Zacian from them. Yeah. We have to take the Dialga from them really soon, though. Yeah. I mean, it's not like Dialga... Or, I mean, yeah, because, because like, we can just clean up with Scarf Kyogre at this point, because they're definitely Dynamaxing the Dialga. Yeah. Also, like, if we don't take care of the Dialga, we can... Uh, what is it called? We can just max the Ogre, and it's bulkier than the Dialga. Yeah. All right. Which seems weird, because it's, like, max, max, but, dude, Kyogre's bulky. Do you think they go Blastoise here and just Cannonade and let us take the Dialga? Oh no, they went Sasha. If Sashin. we do that, then we win anyways, but yeah, right. I'll just go out for the Dialga. Because Scarf Kyogre cleans if we do. Yeah. And we can probably Helping Hand it too. Yeah, I'll just Helping Hand uh, and try to destroy the Dialga. Gaming. Okay. Sorry if you guys hear a, a snoring dog. My dog is old and he snores now. <laughs> Your dog has evolved. All right, don't protect. Uh, no There's protect. No way. no way he protects. Let's go. Let's go. Is that a one shot? One. That's yeah, a one, one shot. Oh. That's a that's game. There's no that's way game. he wins that. He's gonna be with blade us, and then we just win with Zarina. Yeah. All right, B blade. If it goes into our Zarina, we live because we calc for that. Let's go. I mean, he could, he could also be adamant, but no, he's not. All right, the play is always power whip behemoth blade now. Yeah, we can even helping hand Behemoth play the uh, Blastoise. That's more consistent. That's true. Because we know we're faster. Yeah, yeah that's like true. Agent's Behemoth. Because now they don't have any priority, so uh, Serena doesn't matter that much. And Kyogre always wins. Yeah, so we just helping hand Behemoth put it into Water Spout range. We can also max Alecky at this point. Oh yeah, we yeah. haven't maxed. Let's just try not to max. Why not? <laughs> it's not yeah. like we can't wild charge. <laughs> exactly. We'll be fine. Listen, you guys got... Alright, no, that's that's the best part. The only Pokemon we Gigantamaxed or Dynamaxed at all in the... Oh, you didn't you didn't Dynamax. Take out? Dude. Detai? Oh, thank you for forgetting. <laughs> thank you for forgetting. Wait, yeah. we're faster, right? Please be faster. Yeah, no. Yeah. On on this team with Thundee and Blastoise, you're always not max speed. Yeah. Just you never know. It's ladder. Yeah. Anyways, that's um... Weak, it doesn't matter. What I was gonna say before I forgot was the only Pokemon we Dynamax this game was Butterfree because we never Dynamax game three. Yeah, let's go. Do Butterfree showcase too good. We can lock Thunder now to be honest because we know we're faster. Yeah. I want to just Water Spout Behemoth though. Actually, what animation do you want to see? Actually, wait, they could be a Wakan. We don't want to. Uh... That's true. Like, That's we true. don't want That's them to max strike. Yeah, because then we just Behemoth Blade Water Spout now. Yeah, because if the they match blasters. strike and get a few E-Web misses, it could be bad. Oh yeah, we just Behemoth. This is game. They don't know that we're Choice Scarf, that's the other thing. Yeah, they just assumed. Yeah, When you go. see Zarina, you can assume. Yeah, they probably just, uh, what was it? They probably just assume Life Orb uh, Geyser, like Mystic Geyser plus Behemoth. Yeah. 
Anyways, that was absurdly... Oh, wait, let's look at that real quick. Barring the Grimstone, their oh, team they, was cool. What? It's oh, got tech. Protect over Thunder Wave in this game. Insane. You gotta be. You gotta be. There's no Thunder Wave. Oh. This team has no speed control <laughs> beyond Trick Room. Dude, Kalido goes crazy. All right, he's really... He's got no speed, I think. That's no speed investment. Dang. Or four. Yeah. It's, it's either none or four. Yeah. Life Dude, Orb? He, he's got no speed control. You gotta be crazy. It is Wakan. Yeah. Life anyways. Orb Landers. Anyways. I think the concept is really cool, though. Yeah. This team was ridiculously successful for being the Butterfree episode. I got so many comments saying, I don't know how you're gonna use Butterfree, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, when you got Neil VGC, anything works. Yeah, we got we got the the absolute goat of of weird team building. We're well, not even weird. You just you you build like me, where you'll use something, but it'll end up being pretty rational, you know. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Neil, do you have anything you want to plug? Mm, check out my YouTube. I make some nice content. That's all. That's, do you only have a YouTube? I feel like you. I thought you had like a Twitch too. Yeah, I don't stream much. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Anyways, I'll, I'll put both there. But yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, be sure to check out Neil's channel. Subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed. This was a great video in my opinion. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I made it, so it's good. Uh, and be sure to join us next time when we use GMAX Pikachu with our friend... Mer